All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wolf Nothing. Let's see the woo woo woos in the chat for this. Oh man, we've seen it before. Oh my goodness gracious, everybody research Loom. Oh, you know, it's unfair. It really is. It's unfair for some people. This is just the way the life that uh, life is. Some people have to chop through to get to the wolves. Some people have wolves surrounding them already. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is great. Run for your lives. Run. Run. Uh, I think there's uh, maybe yes. two players who, who are in an okay yes. position. The XD, he doesn't have any wolves attacking him right now. He's going to have to cut through to them. This is funny. Well, welcome to Wolf Nothing. It is a map with a bunch of trees, no gold, no stone, and a bunch of wolves. Don't ask me how they got there. It doesn't really make much sense that a tree could really grow to this height and the wolves would just be stuck there. But um, we will answer those questions in time. Maybe you guys have your theories. So let's let's introduce the players, shall we? In the orange, we have Don't Care One, Two, Three. He's playing as the Celts. A good position for him, I'd say, because there's not a lot of wolves in his, or no wolves in his starting position. We have Tom Cromwell. Tom Cromwell is playing as the Burmese. Interesting uh, civilization pick in the green. In the blue, far far away from the monument is Dinomar, and Dinomar is still trying to focus down these wolves. In the teal is. Uh, sorry, Dynamar is playing as the Teutons. In the teal, we have Malay for wholesome meme. Malay is another interesting Civ pick. In purple, we have XD the Lag. XD the Lag is playing as the Slavs. And in the gray, we have Gafflespoon. Gafflespoon is playing as the Celts. Um, I don't know if I talked about much loud, dude. What are you doing? You madman. Get to the TC. He's trying to run back with these villagers. They're trapped between wolves. He lost one. Yes. yes. Um, <laughs> there must be a pause or something. I don't know what he was thinking. Oh, more coming in as well. He's he's doomed with this guy as well. Uh, Betty and Frank just got chewed up by wolves right outside the town center as well. All the children are crying inside because they had to witness that. I guess maybe he wanted to lure the wolves in so he could shoot them with the town center. But man, the, the T90 Wu emote is really going to get good use today. Uh, he's... Playing as a Korean, so we got um, a Klinskin because Celts. I don't even remember who I introduced. I think I started with Don't Care, so that's everybody. So a couple Celt picks, but then different saves like Koreans can be strong with Siege. Malay, I, I don't know why Wholesome Meme would go for Malay, but he did. Maybe it'll be Malaysing for him, we'll see. Uh, Tutan's another strong Siege pick, strong uh, Eco we'll pick. Some T90 Woo action. T90 Woo. Burmese is also another pick that I don't really get because they don't get Siege Onager and it's going to be tough to utilize the Aaron buy out of their castles because they'd have to they'd have to purchase the castles. But uh, who cares? Who cares? We aren't tryhards here. We'll, we're Wolf Nothing fans. We'll see how it plays out. Nico, thank you for two months, man. And uh, Tarzan, thank you for the Prime sub. Yeah, Nico, this is this is the game for you if you like wolves. Now this is an amazing monument. Wow, that. I'd never seen this before. Does anyone know what monument this is? It's probably an expansion monument. Let's, um... I wish I could remove this overlay for a second. Get a good thumbnail image here for YouTube. Uh... See, I can't get the wolves on the screen. See, this would be fine, but the overlay is there. Whatever, whatever. YouTube will have to deal with it. <laughs> We've seen it all before. It's still exciting. Oh, it's a Slavs monument. Got it. I wrote, said, by the way, last game in the game room, everyone was talking about teaming up on Super Lisco, so I guess I have to thank you for that. Yeah, I've been saying it about you for about a year, man. No one, no one wants to backstab you. Uh, it's funny. You do have me to thank for that. I think it was just, it's just a matter of time, because you both played in the same game. So it's just a matter of time that one person will get teamed up on, and no surprise that you got left alone. Cape Man, I'm not sure what the game after this will be. I'm not sure. We will let it up to the stream. We'll do some more polls afterwards if you guys like that idea. Hope you guys have been enjoying the stream. If it's your first time, hopefully you've been having fun. That is what the goal is here. All about having a good time, relaxing, forgetting about real life, and um, watching the lack of life with these wolf attacks. So the game plan, yes, it is a free-for-all. The game plan here 
is to chop through to the middle, obviously. I think the best strategy is to advance a few ledge as fast as you possibly can, build that market, and start selling that wood, because there's plenty of wood here, plenty of T90 trees, no shortage there. So, seeing as you have no gold and stone, you need to sell a lot. And that's why I think Celts are a great pick. Not only do they have the best siege in the game, but also they their lumberjacks work faster. And if you've never seen a Celt tech tree for whatever reason, I know some people don't play this game when they watch, uh, like here. Infantry move 15% faster, lumberjacks work 15% faster. Their siege weapons fire faster, and they get fewer Celtica, and it makes their siege workshop units have more hit points. So it's a really strong combo for these settings. Is this played on Explored? It is supposed to be played on Explored, it is not. I'm kind of glad it's not played on Explored, because then they don't know the wolves are coming. Uh, I mean, we're laughing at their expense, of course, but... Like, otherwise you'd have no clue. You have no clue. I guess if it was Explored, you would just see the pockets of space and not the amount of wolves, but still. I think you could use the three, three times or nine times mod more in community games. Yeah, Algernon, I, uh, since we're doing these on a regular basis on the same day, I plan on talking to you and a couple others and being a little bit more prepared with the settings and the schedule. I think going into it, it could, it could help the viewers and help myself as well. Ah, run! Woo, 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 another one goes down. How? Oh, I guess he just ventured over here. Poor Dynamar, man. Run into so many damn wolves. This is played on hardest as well. And the difficulty level in Age of Empires 2 affects the line of sight of the wolves. So these wolves will come at him from a long distance away. Fuel Age coming in for XD. Very good time for him. XD's going to want to build that market. There we go. So I would just stay in Feudal Age and sell, sell, sell. Right now, you look at the market prices on the bottom right. Actually, you can't see it because he doesn't have one. One second. Yes. You'll see the overlay at the top left that he's selling. Um, right now, if you want to sell wood, you're getting 70 gold in return, which is pretty good. So 100 wood for 70 gold. That's good. But now it's 67. So it, it slowly gets worse. It's actually a really smart thing for people to think about when they created this game. That people might need to abuse the market. Just another amazing thing about Age of Empires 2 and how it works, because I wouldn't have thought of that. I like to think I have a pretty good knowledge when it comes to the game now, but I would have never thought of that. Yeah, players should have the stream closed. Skip it. Um, they should have the stream closed. If for some reason you're listening to this, you don't have the stream closed, just know that you're jeopardizing all like further participation in... Uh, community games. We normally don't have an issue with that. People are normally pretty fair. So we're going to hear that noise a lot because people are going to be selling. So get used to it. This wolf, yeah, I think he's just trying to, to lure in the, this villager, sorry, is luring in the wolves to the TC so he can shoot them. Poor Blue. He truly had the worst start, I think, with all these wolves. And Gray has a lot waiting for him. Purple has lot. Everyone has wolves waiting for them. Nice little pocket position for Tom. But Tom is close, and he does not have to go through a lot of wolves to get to the middle. <laughs> I'm not a game developer because I don't think I would enjoy game developing. Cape man, it's not not a not a big uh, burn. Unfortunately, no T90 burns there. Don't care is on the way to Castle Age. He would have had to sell for that to get the gold. I just don't see what Castlage really gives you. It does give you access to like, the wood research to chop faster. But I would prefer to be in XD's position where I'm floating gold. 700 gold right now is a really nice position for him. First time catching on the stream, but a long time fan. So happy to catch something live. What's up? What's up, man? Uh, wh what is it? Welles? Welles? I'm hyped up on caffeine. I'm mispronouncing names. We have wolves attacking villagers. I'm living the life right now. Oh, yeah. Red does have some wolves waiting for him in the north. And he's... 
<laughs> Let, let's hope he doesn't send a scout out here because that is a lot. Oh no! This farmer, they really saw him from far away. This farmer. Gonna get attacked here. I think red and blue are the unlucky colors of the day because last game red and blue were unlucky with the map generation as well. Oh, that's an idea, guys. What about this for an idea? What about making these wolves Gaia wolves? Which means that once you find them, they are in your control. That's got to be possible, right? So we do wolf nothing, but every time you encounter a wolf, it turns your color. And then you can use it to attack someone. That would be amazing. Filster, welcome. Welcome, man. I mean, it'd be ridiculous, but I think we're we're used to the ridiculousness. And then just imagine, just imagine. I, I don't know if it would affect your population, but it would be possible because you can still uh, get Gaia units even if it goes over your pop cap. You just wouldn't be able to create any more units, but you could collect more wolves. I wouldn't make them any stronger. I would make them. 25 HP still. I could even make them weaker, but it's a funny idea. I'm sure, you know, if Red watches his back, he doesn't think it's a funny idea because <laughs> these wolves aren't even controlled by anyone and he's having a tough time. A crouchy boy, what's up, man? A thank you for your prime sub. Oh man, this is funny. I mean, technically they are guy units right now, but you. You gotta make- Oh, quick wall! Quick wall the wolves out! No, don't farm there! Oh, this is the third time a batch of wolves has come from the north. Uh, I've been watching Game of Thrones again, and there's so many Game of Thrones references now with the, with the wolves. And, like, the north. Every time I say the north, I'm thinking Game of Thrones. Uh, is he gonna survive? Uh, yeah, he's gonna survive. He needs to wall this off. Sadly, he doesn't know what's waiting for him up there. It'd be a huge mistake to go find out, though. Okay, so I want to go back to XD's point of view. Oh, he bought he bought stone. Okay. So that's where all his gold went. He bought stone so we could build a castle later. Hmm. Wolves are already Gaia units. They don't convert. So it's not possible? If it's not possible, that's sad. We have to create it somehow. It's gotta be, it's gotta be doable. Anything is possible with Hank and Algernon. I'm sorry that I failed to join the community game. Now it works. Sad life frown. Sorry, man. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, it, it's okay. Like I say, it's a pain for me because we have people coming in like Hoagie, for example. New to the stream, want to see games, don't want to wait around. And I do say, I do say like, hey, make sure it actually works and test it before you sign up. But dude, I'm so used to it now. Uh, like multiple people make a mistake every time. If you're still around though, I can get you in the next game. Oh, the, the quick wall worked from red. He walled out these wolves. Nice. Uh, he's not going to need to go that way, really. He can go to the right-hand side. Now, some players deal with this in, in different ways. Some players, as Kalinskinks, on the way to the Imperial Age, which is wild. They like to make ranged units like skirmishers or we saw someone build towers last time and they like to try and kill the wolves i think it's just too much multitasking to even try that like this scout for example he needs to be clicked and retasked every single time so i think the best approach is probably just to to avoid them a uh, fight with fills where you have to get to onager and then you can kill them all at once it's funny how this dude's trapped in here and the scout was created to save his life. Respect for so much life in this town. Alright, well, Algernon, that's just an idea that came to mind. We don't have to do that, guys, but I thought it was an interesting idea. So, Klinskink already in the Imperial Age. That is quite a lightning fast time. Uh, does have a market. I think he needs to sell. The price is completely exhausted by now, I imagine. Yep, you only get 14 wood. Or 14 gold for every 100 wood. So it's going to take a while to get to the 500 he needs to create Onager. But he's creating the Siege Workshop. He's going to just chop wood and, and sell what he can. And the farmer should bring him more than enough food. 
I did a poll on Twitter, and people say they want to do Bury Nothing next. Uh, I think that Forest Nothing is truly the best of the Nothing maps, because you can cut through it. With Berries, you wouldn't be able to. But I think we're going to try it, Algernon. I want to make a Berry Nothing version that only has like tw maybe 50 food per berry. That way people go through the berries fast, because otherwise it might take forever. It's probably going to be dumb, but we have to try it. Since when do you guys know about Age of Empires as a series? Well, I'll answer as the caster. I used to watch my brother play Age of Empires growing up. And then when it was re-released on HD, I remembered it. And I bought it on Steam. It was actually my birthday in 2013. That was the first time I played the game on Steam. And after about two years, I, I, mean, I spent so much time, thousands and thousands of hours playing before anyone knew who I was. Um, after about two years, I moved to Voobly. I really liked it because you could spectate, less lag, more more features. That's what we're using right now. And uh, the rest is history because I started making videos and in the last year I've really blown up, but I don't know, it's, it's all happened fast. It feels like yesterday for me. That's my story. Is the HD different from the Definitive Edition? Yeah. Uh, so, HD Edition was released in 2013, there's been various expansions, and, I mean, being completely truthful with you, the performance was bad, um, that's why people don't even use it if you're playing the game a lot, that's why I prefer to use this different platform, Voobly just has so much more, and the Definitive Edition, um, so they're coming out with Definitive Editions for 1, 2, and 3, and then they're coming out with Age of Empires 4. And from what I've seen, I'm really happy with how everything has gone, but I only enjoy and only know a lot about Age of Empires 2. So, um, Age of Empires 2 DE is not released yet, but while I was a huge critic of HD, I will say that from what I've heard and who I've talked to about it, I'm, I'm a lot more positive about the Definitive Editions and that they're going to be able to add a lot of things. <laughs> oh my goodness! Guys! Can we can we get the T90 nice in the chat for this next level strategy? Dinomar has just blown my mind. I cannot believe this. He sent a knight out and wolves automatically attack knights. So he made a few monks. So he doesn't have to pay attention to this anymore. This is the next level strategy here. The monks are healing the knight as the wolves attack. That's that's funny. Oh no! Dude! Be careful! Be careful! You only have one knight here. You could still lose some villagers. That's funny. So basically, Sour Skulls, uh... I guess the monks are still healing the villagers. That's just ridiculous. You can play on Voobly platform for free. It's a free platform, and there's a free patch that allows you to use all the HD expansions on it. So these civilizations are the new ones that were released only for HD. Um, but they, with the community mods, you can use Voobly for free. So and it's like not illegal, you know, it's not shady. It does take a little bit of time to set up, but once you get it set up, you're good to go. That was a genius strategy because you didn't have to focus on it. I still think that it's too much multitasking, but, you know, I'm just a tryhard caster. You know who else is a tryhard? Kalinskink. He already completed Onager. So he can now make an onager and start cutting through. He does not need siege onager. I think he should go for it. He's played this one really well. <laughs> Look at how many resources they're selling. They get so little in return as well. A gaffle spoon. He's also Celts. He's close to clicking to imp. I think here, if you're gaffle spoon, you have enough fills, 100 fills, you probably just idle your TCs. Normal, normal play, you never want to idle your TCs, but here, you you probably do. Uh, but he's going to have the gold for it once he does hit him. Don't care as well, the other Kelt player. You see, there's there's a pattern here. All Kelt players have more gold, and they're in the Imperial Age. Uh, he can research Onager here. I think he's just waiting for the food. Let's see, is he going to click Onager? Uh, yeah, there we go. Relic showed a photo of their team playing Age of Empires 2 of what it seems like they were doing. Got it. Yeah, I'm I'm in touch with people regarding the game. I'm 
See, with HD, I wasn't in a position to... Not that anyone who was in the position did anything wrong, but I wasn't in the position to say, like, listen, this is what, like, this downfall is, this is what needs to be improved. I was not known at all. Um, and honestly, I was such a noob then, and fresh to the game, that I just didn't know. I wouldn't have been of any help. So now I'm in a position, as one of the biggest streamers and content creators, to say, like, listen, here's a list of things that really need to happen. This is what HD's downfalls were, and this is how we can improve things. And that would help both myself and the community, and also it would help Microsoft, because, you know, they want to promote their new game. No, you do not get food from wolves. Uh, there are certain game modes um, where you can get food from various animals that you normally can't, but no. So guys, this is King of the Hill. Don't forget about this monument. So when someone gets in here, the countdown starts at 550 years. You'll see it above the researches in the top right. So uh, those that that's going to take some time. That's going to take some time. So while a couple players have a head start, I don't think it'll be a huge concern. The players have to sell wood for all the gold. And um, they're going to need to eventually cut for more farm space, I think, if they want food for maybe halberdiers or knights or elephants. You know, I don't know what they'll choose to go with. There's options there. But they'll actually need to cut room for more economy space. I'm a fan of Wolf Nothing. I never thought that I would say I'd be a fan of any Force Nothing map, but Wolf Nothing is great. It's like Force Nothing on steroids, honestly. I really like it. I think that we have enough time to talk and to have fun, and there's enough build-up. And then normally, there's... I mean, we've only done a couple times, but there's pretty good fights in the middle. So I like this a lot. Now, it would suck if it wasn't King of the Hill, though. Because if everyone had to attack each other, that would just take forever. But I think that King of the Hill is the best for this. Yeah, Kira, you can do a 2v2, uh, like 2v2v2v2, 2v2, 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 or 4v4, or 3v3 on King of the Hill. You can do that. I find that on King of the Hill, when you do team games, it just ends faster. The exciting part about King of the Hill is that people are... It's very tough when there's seven others to hold the middle by yourself. So it tends to go back and forth, and the swings are what really makes it exciting. Any expectations from AoE4? I'm hyped to see what the new studio will do, although I hope they don't ruin the series. Uh, so here's my answer for that. I have heard nothing on Age of Empires 4. I don't think anyone knows much because they still have to do all the other definitive editions prior to that. I am I'm very happy it's coming because I think it'll promote the, the Age of Empires series in general. But even though even if it's a good game, I don't see how it can ever be better than Age 2. But Age 2 has survived Microsoft shutting the zone down. Age 2 has survived HT being uh, awful. And, like, for where we're at today, it is truly amazing how big the game has grown up again. We have collectively over a million, I think with all the, the YouTube channels, probably close to a million subscribers on YouTube watching these videos. And... This is a game that came out in the year 2000, and there's so many elements as far as an RTS game goes. It's still very competitive. I just... It's going to be tough to ever beat this game. Um, so, but at the end of the day, it's going to be good for everybody, because even if Age of, all the Definitive Editions are trash, um, and if AoE 4 is trash, I mean, knock on wood there, we don't want that to happen, but even if that happens, people are going to come back to the community even more. And even if we're still on Vubly in HD in five years, the community will be bigger and so much more will be possible. Are you more hyped for AoE 2 DE or AoE 4? Oh, AoE 2 DE for sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> but again, Age of Empires 2 is the Age of Empires game. AoE 1 community is only really active in Vietnam because they can get free copies of the game. Like, there's no big AoE 1 community. AoE 3 is a very small active community. AoE 2 is a huge community now that's only growing. And so, seeing as that's the case, Hank, uh, 
I'd be pretty upset if they were to screw up Definitive Edition. And I think they know that. I think that they know how people felt about HD. I've spoke to people about this, so... Like I said, I, I was not originally positive about the DEs at all because of how HD was handled, but they, they changed my mind, they convinced me. They really seem to be looking at this with a, with a better outlook. Did you ever play StarCraft 1 or 2? I have been trying to learn StarCraft actually, but I started to learn StarCraft because I really like the, the casting aspect of it, you know? Um, and RTS games are obviously great. But I liked, like I listened to the casters, I absolutely love those guys, and even though I'm a noob at the game, I don't know much. Um, but I'm trying to learn it for that purpose, to maybe get into casting it in the future. But uh, I played it for about a week, and I've been trying to get some hours in, but then I found a couple new TV shows. <laughs> so I started watching instead. Alright, we're about to see a huge shot on these wolves. Gaffle Spoon, delete some houses, man. I want to see these wolves die. Oh, Forced Levy's a cool tech from Wholesome Meme. Oh, I didn't even think of that. See, I like the idea. Oh! I like the idea of going Forced Levy, but I think that Celts can sell so much that the free two-handed swordsman with the Forced Levy tech, uh, I don't think it really will do too much. Lithium says, what games... Were you into before you found Age of Empires 2? Well, first of all, thank you for the 100 bits and the support. Um, second of all, I was into a lot of shooter games. I played... The order of my gaming career uh, goes like this. I started with... Uh, nice friendly fire there. <laughs> I started with Tony Hawk and like Bob Burnquist games. A lot of skateboarding and, and biking games. And then I moved on to, there was this Army Men shooter game on PlayStation 1. I completely forget what it's called. But it was literally Plastic Army Men. <laughs> uh, then I went to Xbox. I love Halo 1 and 2. Man, the nostalgia is real. One of my favorite all-time games. I knew all the super jumps, all the hiding spots. I loved that. I spent so much time on that. Uh, then I moved on to PlayStation 2. I uh, started playing a lot of sports games and Call of Duty. And... Then I went to Xbox 360, and that was back when the Red Ring of Death was going around, and I probably had four different ones before I went back to PlayStation 3, and then it was mainly FIFA and Call of Duty until Call of Duty ruined the franchise, and then um, like I bought I bought a laptop in 2012, the end of 2012, and then in 2013 HD came out, and right after I found Age of Empires. I stopped using my console altogether. I never upgraded any console systems because PCs can play all those games and you can do so much more. So that's the the history of my, my gaming for you. Tom is eventually gonna get the middle and start that countdown. When we when we hear the noise, guys, I wanna <laughs> Dude, how did you think this was a good idea? <laughs> woo woo woo. Uh, don't kill your own castle. <gasps> but he just killed his own castle! Oh my gosh! <laughs> With the attack rounds, he he killed his own castle. It's so expensive. They don't have stone. He just types, damn, he's only at 50 stone now. Ah, oh, can we get the T90 throw spam going? <laughs> oh, these damn wolves. Uh, he knows what he did as well. He's going to have to spend, let's see, to buy stone. To buy 100 stone is 250 gold. So he is going to have to spend well over 1,000 gold just to buy another castle. He might not even do it now. Oof. But there's the countdown. Let's go. 550 years to go. Uh, everybody trying to work their way towards the middle. It has taken Kalinskink quite a long time, honestly. Uh, don't care in Kalinskink. They're going to run into each other here. Both players have Siege Onager, both players Celts. I think this is the only problem with these types of maps, is that since everyone's trying to get to the middle, they might cross paths, and yep, here we go, there's gonna be some fights now. Glinsking's King's saying, hey, go the other way, please. Did I pick a bad time to join the stream? I don't know. 
If you're a fan of Wolf Nothing, this is a great time. If this gives you nightmares, it's an awful time. So, it's kind of a waiting game now, and we're, we're going to have to watch all the villagers as they try to send forward bills. See, this guy's trying to wall off. Oh, worth it. Worth it to kill the wolves. Wolves claim another victim. Just look at the KD, guys. Everyone except Gray has taken some losses here. Oh, wow. Don't care. You just you just messed up, my friends. That Cavalier. Oh, nope. He's going to run away. <laughs> Clint's King's like, oops. What are the problems of the HD version? Um, here, let me just put it to you this way. Boobly has live moderation. They have smurf protection. They have multi-lobby. They have user patch, which gives you better capabilities with maps and less lag. Uh, they have different lad rating ladders. They have... I Basically, Boobly just has so much more. Like Performance is the big reason anyone moves to Boobly, but beyond that, they have so much more. I just want to see Blue, man. I, I want to see Blue try and go through here, or accidentally chop through, because they will eventually, as they're not paying attention, chop through to these wolves. That's a lot of wolves, man. There's quite a few pockets of these floating around. Like here as well, Purple's going to have to go through quite a few wolves. I love Tom Cromwell's initiative to push forward and start the counts at- Oh, but Orange is here! Orange is- Oh man, we're gonna see a, a big old fight here. And this is where it really sucks to be anyone but Celts, because Celt Siege Onagers have so much strength with that unique tech that they can take- it takes two shots of enemy Onagers to kill them. So poor don't care. He's probably not doing this intentionally, but he's gonna have to fight people to get to the monument. So the north west side uh, will be a struggle. Yellow, he's probably gonna encounter orange as well. He's trying to cut through though. Almost there. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice to have a castle now. <laughs> yeah, indeed, indeed. Oh man, look at this. Just look. Oh man. It's like the jelly bean game. Guess how many wolves are in the pocket? Yay, one year anniversary. Dutch class, thank you for the, the year of subscribing, man. Dutch class, do you remember the first time I got that host from Zach back in the day? I remember you in the chat. I actually knew who you were because uh, you were like in a lot of videos at that time. It's been a long time, man. So, it's like the Jelly Bean game. There's two, four, six, eight, nine... Wait, what? <laughs> two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen here. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven... There's, there's hundreds, there's hundreds. I was never good at that Jelly Bean game. Maybe didn't play enough Wolf Nothing at the time. A young one, thank you for subscribing to the stream. Chat, let's let's toss some woo woo woos in there for him. Seeing as well, that's what we're we're seeing right now. Don't shoot the wolf, man. Do not shoot the wolf. Please shoot the wolf. I really want to see you save her. Come on, do it. Do it. Bummer. Elite bow yard for XD. Are you kidding me? You know what? Last time we saw slabs, we didn't see the boyars. And boyars are like Teutonic knights on a horse or cataphracts. They they will destroy halberdiers, and that seems to be what everyone is mixing in. Huh? Okay. They would destroy world raiders as well if the Celt players make world raiders. So maybe. The answer is to go Boyars and Siege Onagers if your slabs. It's still very expensive. Now, um, the tech that Wholesome Meme Research, for those that don't know, it's pretty cool. It's a new civilization, so it's the Malay. Force Levy means Militia Line costs no gold. Now, they're maxed out at two-handed swordsmen. They cannot get champion. But even still, you know, with the amount of upgrades they can get and the fact there's no gold in this map, that's a really nice tech to be able to have access to.
Cappy47, thank you for the four month reset. Oh! What on earth is happening here? No! Blue! What are you doing? Wholesome meme! This is not very wholesome. Blue is getting wrecked by these two handed swordsmen. Oh, goodness. My name from Ramo 1998, so don't be scared. Hell is not upon me. <laughs> Timo, why did you change your name, man? I've known you as Timo for so long. You were just Timo earlier in the stream as well. Uh, we'll see if this works. I was just talking about this. We really need a T90 Jinx emote. Because I, I jinxed it. I made it happen just when I brought it up. These, these free two-handed swordsmen. Going in. Now, they are going to encounter scorpions and siege onagers, and I I feel like they'll die in choke points. And back to the boyards for a second. Uh, I think that boyards will also die in choke points to siege onagers, but I guess Teal, you know, maybe uh, XD is spamming T95. And maybe Teal didn't like what Dynomar had to say in the Twitch chat about his performance in a previous game. <laughs> I don't know. But we have a 1v1 here. Uh, Orange is probably going to be fighting green in a second. And yellow, he's trying to cut a, a large path to the middle. 366 years, so we are not even close to the end of this game yet. Uh, no, no problem, Timo. I'm going to, I guess, call you Satan now. It's the last time you, you heard me call you Timo. Would it be better for Teal to cut instead of going against Blue? Well, I think the idea here... Remember, I pointed out how all these three players are running into each other. Yellow, orange, and green. So I think the idea behind this strategy for Teal is to kill someone to uh, the side of him. That way he can be unrivaled when he goes to the middle. Because it is possible that Blue would have ran into him. I mean, it should be just a matter of time. Because Dynamar is only 60 population. He's even going to chop through this tree and let the wolves in. He's going to lose everything here. So this is going to work. Uh, Dynamar says, thank you. Thank you for ending my suffering. Oh, man, I feel bad. I feel bad. Wholesome Meme says, no problem. No problem. And, yeah, let's see if the wolves get a kill before Blue dies. Oh! Please! Well, Dynamar's out. The wolves didn't actually get a kill. First person goes down. Lots of army pushing towards the middle. Uh, oh, geez. We have the Celt Scorpions, two-handed swordsmen, and halberdiers pushing against green. I think Tom Cromwell, he's going to get cleaned up here. You can't deal with Celts as Burmese on this type of a map. Match Lau is getting War Wagon. I have to say I'm surprised by that. Uh, Koreans do have plus one range on their Siege Onagers, but Korean Siege Onagers with the unique tech take two shots. So, I, mean, I still prefer the Kelt position. Now, saying that, Kalinskink doesn't have the unique tech, so... Advantage to Koreans with an extra range. Let's see what Wholesome Meme can do. Now, here's the... Well... <laughs> I was gonna say it's the extra range, but Kalinskink was obviously typing. Uh, th this is fine. Uh, this is doable. He can get this up, no problem. There's no wolves here or anything. Wildlife is no issue. Only lost two bills. <laughs> I, I think building a castle in the middle could be quite good if your opponent doesn't have access to trebuchets, but here, you know, the Korean player could go with bomber cannons and trebuchets. Normally building buildings in the middle is good and bad in King of the Hill. It's good because you're closed for reproduction, but at 300 years, it's bad because you're likely going to get cleaned up by everyone approaching the middle. So we have uh, XD about to push in. Siege Onager, Elite Boyar, full upgrades. Teal, he's going to be making his way in. I really just want to see Wholesome Meme lose his two-handed swordsman in one big attack round from the Siege Onagers. Am I evil for saying that? I feel like that'd be awesome. What is Gafflespoon up to? Uh, you're right, I haven't talked about Gafflespoon in a while. He has... Kelt Siege Onagers does have the unique tech for the extra HP and Woad Raiders. So let's go through player point of views and see resources. Tom, he's in a real poor position because this is the path that he cut to take to victory and he's getting destroyed. So 
Only 100 pop. He's lost the monument now. Not good for him. Gaffle Spoon looking very good. He has the wood and food to sell 3,000 gold after selling all the wood he chopped with Celts. Match Lala. Koreans pretty good in the gold situation. Making war wagons. War wagons do survive versus siege honors a bit earlier. He also has the resources to sell. Uh, XD the lag. Unfortunately for him, he doesn't have as much wood banked up. And... Um, same with the food and also doesn't have as much gold, but he is making a lot of expensive units right now. I don't care, he can sell that wood, so I think his position's fine, but only 186 gold right now. His his play is amazing, so I would expect that he would sell. Has the middle right now. A wholesome meme, while still at that 511 gold, he is not going to need gold units to create his two-handed swordsman. So, I think he'll maybe just go for the spam, like the, the shulker way of doing things, and spam towards the middle. Sad thing is for Wholesome Meme, is that he's going to be spamming into strong siege units. So, while he might be able to create them for free, he can lose 50 of them in an instant. U-turn, son of ski, welcome. Uh, anybody else new? Identity Crisis, what's up, man? I, I see some new faces now. Can anyone stop? Don't care. 241 years is not a long time on fast speed. Gaffle Spoon. We can see the same thing where he runs into XD or runs into Match Lala. Crazy game. I, I honestly don't know who to favor because there's so many players with strong technologies and strong resources. I, I'm really hoping that it's Topsy Turvy game. But you know what's cool about this? Can everybody say thank you in the chat? The cool thing is, is that these players have switched it up. They've given us variety. We have many different civilizations. They're actually like, being somewhat successful with their strategy attempts so far. That's cool to see. Because if, if everyone you know, wanted to win and be a tryhard about it, they'd probably all choose Celts. But Celt on Celt battle would be kind of lame. So I, I, I want to thank you players for giving us some different units to look at. What's the best strategy for siege weapons on forest maps? Uh, more siege weapons. <laughs> you need to go with your own siege. The, the best build, in my opinion, is Halberdier, Ram, Onager, and have Celts. But <sighs> with this many siege weapons and this many choke points... It is going to be devastating for you if you don't have siege. Like here is a perfect example. Halberdier's like, oh, I'm a melee unit. I can kill these. Rip. <laughs> Here's another example. Come on, send them in. Don't care. Prove me right. Boom. Yeah, th that's what melee units do, and I can only imagine what'll happen with Teal's units on the right hand side. Ban Celts next time? No, I don't think I need to ban Celts because they're still choosing different sieves. There's three people with Celts. Koreans could easily take this. Honestly, I'm not gonna doubt Wholesome Meme either. I think he could do it. The whole idea behind Wholesome Meme's strategy is to get the middle once and then just spam. Because look at his barracks. Most of them are queued up. And if he gets the middle, what he can do is just go like this and just toggle through all his buildings and send units in there. You just need one unit in there to hold it. And you have to hold it for 100 years. Once it gets around the 100, um, well, you have to hold it down to zero, sorry. Once it gets around the 100, players will probably start going for it. Everyone seems to be waiting. But I see army, uh, jeez, I'm sorry. Orange's army as vulnerable because he only has two siege onagers here. And those halves, they will mean nothing. <laughs> To two-handed swordsmen, they will mean nothing to onagers. They will get flattened. Just changed my username so that T90 official does not recognize me. T90 fanboy. Wait, who are you now? Is that Timo again? I don't know. Let's not forget about Tom. Tom is still in it. And oh, he's like middle fingers in the air. Screw you, don't care. That was an epic rhyme. Um, I'm on fire. <laughs> He's gonna just kill Don't Care because Don't Care has the middle and because Don't Care killed his forward base. 
Uh, yellow says the same. I'm killing orange. Yeah, they're killing his production buildings, guys. Uh, orange is isolated now. It's just a few production buildings here. Okay, here come the two-handed swordsmen. This is what I'm talking about. Look how quickly they die to just a few scorpions and siege onager. Oh, this is gonna be juicy. This is gonna be juicy. Please fire, man. Please fire. Ah, uh, well, he doesn't really need to. Look how low the HP is. The onager! Please! Nah, no, not needed. Completely destroyed there. Completely destroyed. Red's trying to slide in. Teal's trying to open up a path so we can send units in. 136 years. Now the game really begins. Tom Cromwell and Kalinskink, they are cleaning up Orange's base. I think he's not going to be able to hold this as other players push towards the middle. Now, a Gafflespoon, we haven't really talked about a ton this game. He's going to have to go through Red's forward base and through Red's army to get to the middle. So maybe waiting so long was a bit of a mistake for him. Yeah, saying that Red doesn't have a ton of units, so it's definitely doable. Orange's population down to 130 now. He's losing so much. And Coinskink saying orange base dead. So I love how they see that orange has a good position in the middle. And they're trying to kill him because of that. <clears throat> Wholesome meme. You know what? He's killing some of these scorpions. And it doesn't cost any gold to create these units. So he can continue to spam them. And that's exactly what he's doing. And Wholesome meme might be able to snag the middle. It'll just take some time. <clears throat> Orange still, he must have a villager in here somewhere because he's creating siege units and he's creating halberdiers. If he's going to lose his base, he needs to go for it. Yeah, wolves attacking everything in this base. Orange is probably going to lose everything in the base, but can he hold the middle? And there's the hundred year sound. Ah, yeah, I was going to say. Actually, there's no sound. Oof, okay. I'm getting kind of hyped. I don't know about you guys. 200 population for Wholesome Meme, 200 for Koinskink, around 200 for Gafflespoon. And here comes the spam. There's still Scorpions and still Kelty Jonagers. Uh, but, <laughs> I mean, it's hard to say. This is cost efficient gold wise, I guess, because they're free and it's not free for don't care. It just doesn't look very pretty. 80 years is a long time for Don't Care to hold this. What kind of resources does he have? Yeah, 50 population now. He has the res to make some Halvadiers and Siege in the middle. It's just looking worse and worse for him population-wise. And I think he will be the next one out of the game. Well, it says Teal wins this. Okay, I really want Teal to win it, because he's the only one not adding in Siege Onagers. I guess besides Green, but Green can't. Uh, neither can Teal, but you get my point. Uh, yellow fighting Tom. Clint's King says, yeah, I'm fighting you. 62 years. This is not over yet. Don't care could do this. Uh... Steven says it takes some time to to earn these, so you better buy 100. <laughs> uh, Steven, thank you for the 100 bits, man. Thank you. Even elite battle elephants being added in now. You know what? This could be an epic strategy choice. The battle elephants, they die to halberdiers. But what kills halberdiers? Two-handed swordsmen. What kills the siege? Free two-handed swordsmen. Teal could actually do this. Uh, Orange has now lost the middle. A Gafflesmoon actually has it. I think Teal can win it with his strategy choice, and if he does, that's just amazing. That is just amazing. Don't care resigns. This vault, thank you for two months in a row, man. Yeah, it's been a great day so far. Is Teal gonna do this? Do you guys, I want to hear what you have to say in the chat. Do you want him to win, or do you want him to lose? He has the middle now. Red is kind of fighting gray. Yellow, uh, he's obstructing green from getting to the middle uh we haven't seen much from xd oh that's because he's in gray's base no oh this this could be good this could be good for teal and honestly xd maybe not expecting that that Teal would be able to win this in this fashion 
I look forward buildings now for wholesome meme. This guy's everywhere. I think every second that Gaffle Spoon holds the middle is really important because Teal is is prepping for the push. This could easily be on Teal's point of view right now, and we could have Teal at 85 years, but we do not because Gaffle Spoon's spam, and he's he's dying at the same time as well. So there we go. Teal gets it, but we could look back at that and see it as precious time. Yeah, Teal's going for it, guys. Teal is going for it. So we saw it before. Orange had Scorpions and Onagers. It killed a two-handed Swordsman. So that's what everyone needs to be adding in. Now, unfortunately, we have a three-way battle on the left. And I think Teal killing Blue is a big reason why he's in a nice position because there's no one running into him. Everyone else, they're having a border dispute here. And Gafflespoon's down to 150 pop. XD wastes a lot of his gold units in that engagement. Everyone's distracted except maybe Kalinskink. So Kalinskink and Green may be in positions to push this. Wow. <clears throat> well, it really comes down to how aggressive they are. Because if they wait too long, the spam could win it. You just need one unit in here. So I think sooner rather than later is a motto to live by. Uh, but normally I see players thinking about it around the 50 year mark right when they hear that noise They're like oh snap. We need to go Let's see what Kalinskink has for resources Not a lot actually. He does not have a lot of resources No siege coming out of these siege workshops and Greens coming in now as well 60 years even purple spamming some units to the north now because he's been cleaned up from gaffle spoon's base this is what I like to see. Everyone's slowly figuring this out. The Scorpion's going to quickly clean up Teal. Now, I think Purple should do this. Yes, look at this. XD is cutting off the reinforcements. This is real smart. Some sick strategies in this one. You want to patrol the Halberdiers in front of your army and then the Scorpion's behind if you're Kalinskink. I don't know why he's waiting here. He should try and fight this now. And here we go. Now, he, he really doesn't know what's going on over here. That's why he's building an outpost. It's below 50 years, and Teal has production buildings right next to the monument. Green's coming in from the north. It looks like he bought another castle. He has Arambai and Halberdiers. Tons of Siege Jumpers from Match Lala. Could easily run into Gafflespoon, as I said. Uh, could easily run into Kalinskink. Teal does not have many units left in the middle. All the counters coming in. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to do it, guys. It does not look like he's going to be able to hold it. And we're going to have someone else victorious. I really want to credit XD for cutting off the reinforcements. That's really smart. 32 years. He's still spamming them in one at a time. <laughs> there are purple bodies, yellow bodies, green bodies, gray bodies, teal bodies. So many bodies. Like, I don't want to... I don't want to play the song because it will be copyrighted, but let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. That's what we need right now. Teal still has it. You've got to be kidding me. He still has units in here somehow. Look at this. He's somehow sneaking by below 20 years. Now he's losing his production buildings, but there's still... Well, it's really only the barracks he can use because he doesn't have gold for elephants. 16 years there's still some teal in there this is insane look look he's spamming from this barracks i didn't see this he's sending bills he's sending everything can he do it it's gonna be close it's below 10 years i'm, I'm going like this so you can see how many numbers he has and they're just three or four at a time he's still spamming from these buildings they don't realize how strong this is you've got to be kidding me he's actually gaining numbers the reinforcements are trying to be blocked off. He just needs one unit in here. Guys, just look at the bottom bar of the screen. He wins it. He wins it. This is all he had in the middle. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> I, like, XD just, just typed LMAO. He cannot believe it. I can't believe that either. I thought for sure. I mean, the reinforcements were being cut off. Uh, the production buildings were going down. We had yellow units. We we had everybody in the middle there. Everybody did a great job. But Teal 
his strategy choice was was ballsy, and he had the skill to for it to pay off. His kill death ratio, believe it or not, was actually pretty close. But you know, I never would have thought of that. You know, if I'm going to pick civilizations, I pick the obvious ones like Celts, Slavs, or Koreans. Pretty sure most other people would as well. Um, but no, he went for the Malay, and that was malazing, malazing, amazing game. Okay, here are the achievements you want to see. Uh, there's the military stats. Pulse and Meme did have the most kills. There's the eco difference. So he didn't need gold, really. I mean, for the elephants, he needed some gold. But he, he didn't need gold with the force levy technology. I think there was definitely a fair amount of uh, underestimating going on with XT. I mean, Boyars versus two-handed swordsmen, but I, I love to see spam victories because you're playing the game mode a lot more. When you recognize you're just sacrificing bodies to win and not just winning in a straight-up fight. You should have a counter of number of units in the center below um, the years remaining. I, I don't think that's... I think it's a little bit too complicated. I forgot username. But if that was possible, that'd be cool. What you can do in those situations is toggle the team colors. So everyone, all the enemy people are red, and then the person going for the middle is blue. But I thought it was pretty easy for me to see who was in there anyway. So great game. Happy to have you all here. YouTube's going to love that. YouTube, if you're seeing this, say hello to Twitch. I'm sure everyone's going to say hello, uh, except Colossal, because he has to say goodbye. And Tarzan. Ah, oh, everybody's leaving me. But uh, YouTube, make sure to check out the links below in the video description if you want to check out the live streams. The Twitch link is there, Twitter, Discord, whatever you like. I'm going to sit here for a little while so you guys can say hello to your, your mothers and your future selves. What's up, Sony? What's up? I know we got a lot more viewers during that game. That was epic, wasn't it? Sorry if I missed some of you guys. Okay. So community games will not end there. Uh, we are going to go on to the next one. And we had talked about...